Hey you all, it's your girl and I'm back for another video. Today I'm gonna do a video that's a little bit different than what I've ever done before. I'm opening up in a way that I've never opened up to you guys before and letting you into a part of my life that you've never seen. Before I get started with this video, I wanna go ahead and put out there that I'm not gonna cry. Okay, so if you're looking for tears, you're looking in the wrong place. I'm not gonna feel sorry for myself or feel negative because I gave myself one day to do that. That was a few days ago. I'm done with that, I'm over it. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. It's time to step, you know, stand up and be strong. I have been asked about this a few times, uh, several times, and I have not talked about this for very obvious, I feel like, reasons, legality being the number one reason because we are in the process of going through things there's a lot that i just cannot say or talk about in order to shed some light on what is going on and to let you guys know i'm going to talk about it just a little bit for all of those who don't know we just recently relocated to another state one of my children's fathers i'm pretty sure you guys can all figure out which one and i don't get along very well i try to do the best that i can in this situation but it's extremely difficult. I unfortunately am in a situation where I have to co-parent with someone who absolutely just um, sees one side of things and that is their own. They don't see outside of them and their own. They don't even try, not even just a little bit. Whereas me, I try to see the bigger picture and everybody involved. And I think those two different aspects continuously have us um, butting heads which is why we are in this we do have a current parenting plan in place and because our family had to relocate it is time to modify that parenting plan a little backstory we've had this parenting and plan since cash was one years old the parenting plan was flawed in the beginning but I'm not gonna go into that nonetheless I have tried to bend I've tried to make everybody happy I've tried to conform in any every way to make sure that we could stay cordial and understanding it's it's never been easy and it's just as difficult now as it's ever been since this whole thing has been in place and started two years ago i have been representing myself in court at all of our court dates i've been filing my own motions doing my own research i've been feeling like i'm my own attorney basically but at the end of the day i'm not an attorney <clears throat> and I feel like I have carried this as far as I can possibly carry it on my own. Now I'm at a point to where we have a pending court date coming up that basically could remove cash from my, my care in my household and be sent to Colorado until we have our big court date where we have where we comb through all of the little details and figure out every everything that's going to be set in stone there's a lot of different things that go into it but basically Colorado has jurisdiction over my son it's hard to say that because when you think about it it's like that's my baby I carried him for nine months I fed him from my breast you know I care for him every day to know that somebody who didn't even have anything to do with his conception and has nothing to do with raising him can make decisions over him um, that have nothing to do with me or the dad so that's just it's life and it's hard long story short um that's where we're at right now the dad wants cash to be returned to colorado and i just want to put this out there that this is not a custody I want him and you're a bad mom or I want him and you're a bad dad. That's not what this is. And this is another reason why I haven't wanted, wanted to talk about this because I don't want people to misunderstand what it is that this is. This is, this is, this is formality. I really, I just need professional representation at this point. Um, the stakes are so high. Up until now it was like, the only thing we're gonna do is not agree and then we're gonna just have to go to a court date and a judge is gonna have to decide and you know, it's not that big of a deal. But now it's such a vast difference because I'm in a whole nother state. So if, if the court decides that Cash has to go to Colorado and be in Colorado because his legal, they have jurisdiction over him, um, that means that he would have to be with his dad it sucks because they can't tell me I have to go back to Colorado, but they can tell my son he has to go back to Colorado. And if I can't go back to Colorado, but he has to go back to Colorado, he's gonna, of course, be with his dad. I believe that 
that would completely upset everything that he's got going on here. It's so hard to say to talk about this guys and I know I might be all over the place but work with me. Basically I have carried this case as far as I can carry it and at this point in time I need legal representation because I can't I can't risk going into court and not knowing what to say or what to do or what to bring or what to have um, or what I can do or what I can't do. Risk having my son removed from my home for any amount of time until we get to the end of this battle, which could take months. It's hard because you want to feel bad. It's hard not to get emotional and feel like you've lost before you even started. It's hard for me as a mother to think that my son could possibly not see me for three months. I want to stress that I'm trying to do what's right for my son. And at the same time, I want to still be able to be his mother. And I don't want anybody to take that from me. There's so many different ways to look at this. And I know people can easily flip it and be like, well, what if it was you? What if it was him? It's hard to talk about that because I can only empathize for his side so much before I, you know, it, it sucks all the empathy out of mine. And I feel like we're both trying to just be a part of his life as much as possible and I get that and I support that at the same time my family my family's life is has taken me you know to another state and I feel like we should still be able to have that same understanding even though we're not in the same neck of the woods unfortunately again I'm working with someone who doesn't see things um, like that they see things with only one view and that's on their side and their own and what's easier and convenient for them and that's unfortunate for me because that means that it's going to be a lengthy long tiring messy process i've spoke to several attorneys over the course of the last week or so i spoke to one very good attorney who says who said all of the right things and really made me feel secure and confident in his skills to be able to show what I need him to show and to support me the way I need him to support me. That attorney is expensive. It's no secret I'm not rich, but I really believe that securing a lawyer is what is needed at this time and I can't go another court date without it so I have created a GoFundMe for cash I'm calling it cash for cash for cash and basically legal fees for the attorney so I can secure the best attorney for these types of cases because they can be lengthy they are expensive as a parent there's no price that I'm not willing to spend to secure my son's future and to make sure that he sees me and his siblings just as much as anybody else. If I don't have someone to really fight for me right now, then there's a good chance that things could go wrong and we, not, we might not be able to see him, you know, for a long time. And that would really hurt. The first thing I want to ask for are prayers. Just say a little prayer for me, say a little prayer that we can keep him in our home and um, and that this process comes to an end sooner rather than later. The, the longer it goes on, the harder it is on cash and I just really wanna get it settled. I have set up a GoFundMe, it's called Cash for Cash. If you would like to donate, anything is helpful to legal expenses that we are facing for this battle. That would be wonderful. I will put the link down below in the description box. Donate what you can, if anything, and if you can't, just always, just a prayer is is worth more to me than anything. Whew. So yeah, guys. Um, until next video.